Now in part D, we're given then this transformation here that h equals x divided by a thousand and we're asked to state the value of shh. So if it says stated it's got to be obvious and indeed it is but I will explain it in a moment okay how we get the result. But essentially because we're dividing all the x values by a thousand and shh requires squaring in our values we have to divide not just by a thousand SXX but by a thousand squared so we take this value and divide it by a thousand squared in other words just move the point back six places so you're going to end up with 3.5 three five two three and so on okay and we're asked to round this to three significant figures so it's going to be three point five four to three significant figures three sf now i did say i'd show you why this is so and it comes from working out this now if we're going to work out shh then it's just like working out say SYY, SXX and so on. It would be the formula sigma of H squared minus sigma H all squared divided by N, N being 8 in this particular example. Now we know that H is given by this formula here. So this would be equal to the sum of h squared and if we were to square this it would be the equivalent of squaring all the x's and because a thousand squared becomes a common factor you could just take it out and that would be all over a thousand squared. Then we've got minus sigma h all squared so this will be sigma the sum of all the x is over a thousand all squared and again I could just do this as the sum of x all squared divided by a thousand all squared and all this is divided by eight so I could either put it all over eight or I could slip an eight in there it's the same answer. Now I can pull one over 1000 all squared out as a common factor and then I've just got the sum of x squared minus the sum of x all squared over 8. And you should recognize this now as being 1 over 1000 all squared multiplied by s x x and that's how we or the reason why we divide SXX then by a thousand all squared. Okay